Hello all and welcome. It's nice to be back again. I am in the workroom today working on the linen stitch scarf once again. This is the project that I think I was working on in the first vlog. It is the project that I will probably be working on in my last vlog, even if I do my last vlog on my deathbed. In fact, I'm at that stage in knitting this linen stitch scarf when I am pretty sure that in a thousand years, archaeologists will open my tomb and find a partially knitted linen stitch scarf in my coffin as part of my grave goods. I often feel this way about projects. I, I actually know quite a few people who will be so into a project and so excited about it that they, they claim that they feel sad when the project is ending and sometimes they even knit a little bit more slowly to help to spread it out. And I wish I were that kind of knitter. I really do. I don't know what it is about my brain, but my patience with an interest in any project, even a project I like, usually seems to run out when I still have about a third of the project left to go. I wish I were not like that. I really wish I were not like that, but that's how I feel. It's sort of like I, I, um, I'm finished with the project, even though I'm not done with the project. And, and that's how I feel about this linen stitch scarf today. I might feel different tomorrow. In fact, I might feel different 15 minutes from now. But at the moment, it's just something that I feel like, okay, I've had my fun with this. Let's wrap it up and, and let's, let's do something else. You know, I have a lot of other stuff on the needles right now. I mean, the, the nature of my life and work means that I always do. Um, I am at the swatch stage on working on a new sweater for my my dog, Rosamond. Um, she's an adorable little pit, uh, pit bull, blue-nosed pit bull. I'll throw up a picture. Um, and uh, she's a little love, but uh, we're based in Chicago and it gets cold here and she has very little fur. So the sweet thing needs coats and sweaters in the winter time. And um, I've made her quite a few, but it's, it's time for something new. You know, you can't expect the poor deer to walk around in the same wardrobe year after year after year. So I'm working on that. But today I brought this to the workroom because I had not picked it up in a few days and I really feel like this needs to get finished soon. So I, I have reached that stage of the project where I tell myself that, you know, even if you only do a hundred stitches, you're a hundred stitches closer, right? Um, and, and I know people who on purpose, um, they're usually very mathy, which, which I am not. I so admire people who are very mathy. Uh, my very mathy friends will even go so far as to calculate, sometimes at the outset of a large project, they will calculate how many stitches there will be and then they keep track, and then they will blithely post as, as though it's nothing. Well, I've completed 150,000 stitches, and I only have 273,242 left to go. And that encourages them. I mean, I don't, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. And you can call me any name that you want to. You can say that I'm naive. You can say that I just can't face up to reality. You would be right about that one. Um, I just, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. What I do know about, about this linen stitch scarf is that, number one, at least I am happy with it so far. And that, number two, I know where my finish line is, because my finish line is when I have used up this this ball of Noro sock, because this will be two balls of Noro sock, and that will be enough. Um, and that will make a scarf that will be wide enough and long enough, and, and I'll be happy with that. Um, that's that's what I know about my finish line. But it's so funny, last time that I was knitting this and talking about it, I talked about it as comfort knitting, and today it's more like endurance knitting. And so I've been thinking and thinking and thinking as I, as I sit here doing this very simple project that's taking a while, now I'm finding that I'm getting this urge, okay? I have, um, I have a, a bunch of things that I need to do 
Rosamond needs a sweater. That's that's a need. I have a pair of socks on the needles that are for someone in particular. And uh, it's winter now, and his feet are cold, so time to get those finished. I have to get those done. Um, and that's one of those things where that shouldn't be too hard. I am uh, one sock is finished, the other sock is all the way down to the uh, down to the heel flap. That's no problem. Um, I want to do some more stuff for myself. I, I need some sweaters. Let me tell you, um, I am not the guy who knits who has got the whole wardrobe full of sweaters like my friend Joe. My friend Joe has this incredible armoire that is just stuffed with sweaters that he's made for himself. He's not a little guy like me, you know? Joe's tall. Joe is a like, full-size guy, and he's made sweater after sweater after sweater for himself. I have one. I have one sweater that I've made for myself and a vest that I finished that I think I want to redo the um, uh, the, the uh, ribbing on the arms now, make it a little tighter. Um, that's all I have. And it's pathetic. I mean, for you know, I'm supposed to be like a full-time tight knitter. And um, so I, I want I wanted to do a project like that. Um, but then ooh, the urge is really hitting me to do a fine lace piece. And boy, it's been a long time since I did a fine lace piece. It's just, even though I don't have, I don't have a large stash. We'll talk about stash some other time. Uh, but I will just mention that I, my stash is actually, it's, it's pretty modest. I mean, what's in there is choice, right? But I, I am not one of those folks that has a room in their home with the square footage of a small shop or even a medium shop. That's nothing but their yarn. I, I don't have that kind of stash. Uh, in, a, in a city, you mm, it's tough to actually acquire that amount of yarn because you, there's just no place to put it. You know, I mean, you get to the point where you're thinking, well, I could stuff it up the chimney, but then you worry about birds nesting it and, and rats running off with it and that kind of thing. So I don't have a lot of stash, but I've got some good stuff. And I have this, I have this Claudia hand-painted linen lace. And I... Oh, I just really want to do something with it. I really want to do something with it. And I want to do something lacy. But then here's the other part, is because I have it in three colors and they're pretty and they're closely related to one another, I really want to do lace in multiple colors by which what I have in mind is lace in intarsia. Because I know this is... Um, this is something that not a lot of people, I guess, say these days, but I like intarsia. I think it, I think you can do really beautiful things with it. I wish it were more popular. I think it's due for a revival, perhaps. Um, and this is what I'm thinking, is I want to do a piece of lace, and I want to include all three of these linen laces in these related colors. Oh, it's such pretty stuff. It is really pretty. And... Um, Part of it is that I, I'm just in the mood for a new challenge. I mean, it would knit quite a bit of lace, but I haven't done that. So I could just do a shawlette, I could just do whatever, but I find myself fantasizing about this vague idea for a lace project. And a sweater for me uh, takes me forever, usually because of my schedule, but that's not an epic project. I am, by the way, I am five feet, three inches tall. so. I'm a small person. And so a sweater for me is not epic. A sweater for me is, is it's, that's, that's honestly not very much knitting. If, if I have to, I can squeak a sweater for myself plain out of a thousand yards of worsted usually. I mean, it'll be, it'll be a, a, a tight go, but I can do it. But that's not epic. But this lace thing, this potentially could be epic. And why are we drawn to epic projects. I mean, have you done one? Are, I, I say we, but are you drawn to them? Are you the sort of person that that looks forward to or tries to? I'm not saying that you finish. I'm saying, are you drawn to projects that just the scope of what's involved will cause other people, including other knitters and crocheters and stuff, to say, wow, you're doing that? I mean, are you that kind of knitter? I wonder how many of us there are. Because I, I certainly am one. There are, there are just times, like the one I'm having now, when I don't just want it to be a knitting project, and I'm not even, I'm telling myself, 
I'm not even interested in finishing it quickly. Maybe it will take a year. Maybe it will take a year and a half to to bring it to the finish line, but I just want to do it and see how it looks and say that I did it and then and then of course show it off to other people because anybody that tells you that a big part of knitting is not showing off is just lying to you. I mean, that's why I always giggle at the caricature of like the quiet, you know, like um, modest little maiden aunt or granny in a, in a rocking chair. I mean, we need to retire that whole thing anyway. Um, and I, I love grannies and maiden aunts and rocking chairs. Those, those are my people to a large extent. Um, but at the same time, I think that stereotype um, really, really, really doesn't do them justice because just as competitive and as show off you with their stuff as everybody else. Um, so, so why do I want to do this? I don't know. I mean, here I am on a day where literally I am, I am fussing about how long it's taking me to finish a fingering weight scarf, a fingering weight scarf that really only has, what does it do? It's got three stitches in it. It has knits, pearls, and slips. That's it. That's all it's got. And I'm feeling like that's a burden but I'm contemplating lace in linen in three different colors. Why? Why? I don't know. Lace is pretty. This yarn is so pretty. I will have to bring the lace on camera. Um, I mean, Claudia's hand paints. I mean, she's been famous forever, and I just love this yarn, and I really, really want to put it into something that will showcase it. And I think partly that is also um, so I will feel less guilty about having it just sitting in my stash and not being something beautiful. So yeah, so that's where I'm at today. My head is full of, my head is full of epic thoughts. I should probably put on the Odyssey or the Iliad while I'm, while I'm knitting today because I'm, I'm, I'm feeling epic. Mm, you know, for for such a small person. I'm feeling like I want some kind of great journey. Now, whether that will actually happen or not, you know, check in with me next time and we'll see what's going on. But but that's uh, that's what I'm thinking about today. And maybe you want to think about that too. Um, you know, chit chat down in the down in the comments about it if you feel like. I'm really grateful, by the way, how many of you are tuning in for these these vlogs. I am having a ball making them, and I hope that um, uh, you will continue to enjoy them. So uh, I guess I'm going to get back to this now, buckle down, and try to get to the end of the row, because that is a, that's a really big day for me when I do two rows on this sucker, because it's so wide. So I'm going to try to do that. And uh, this is getting kind of long, so I will I will stop this. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's have a chit chat about epic projects. They can be knitting projects, crochet projects, quilting, whatever, whatever kind of needlework you can come up with, whatever kind of fiber art you can think of. Um, and uh, and while that happens, I'm gonna try and <laughs> yeah. Before I cast on for my linen lace intarsia shawl or whatever. I'm going to try to get to the end of this row. <laughs> Wish me luck. Until next time, everybody. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel so you'll be the first to know about future episodes. Click like or leave me a comment to let me know your thoughts. And if you really, really liked what you saw, check out my Patreon campaign, where my patrons enjoy exclusive access to downloads, live streams, and other bonus material every week.